it is officially cold, as you can see. I have another layer on and my new really cozy headband. I have lots of reference and lots of video to paint from and get inspired by, and I can always come back. You know, it's an hour and a half. Uh, I actually think it would be fun to bring our bikes because there's lots of bike trails around here. The wind is dying down a little bit and the light is, I don't know if it can focus on that, but wow, it's golden, amazing. You know when you're in the right place at the right time? Definitely feel that right now. Auto makes me think about our ancestors who didn't have access to supermarkets down the road with fresh produce year round, who relied on growing their own food with knowledge passed down through the generations, skills that helped sustain them and survive with their own grit and determination. And while I dearly appreciate modern comforts and not needing to spend my entire day farming just to survive, I do feel a bit sad when I realize I know so little about growing and preserving food. Food is essential to life, and yet I've spent more time memorizing the history of Middle-earth than about edible plants and foraging. As I get older, I find more and more satisfaction from growing, harvesting, and cooking nourishing food. The simple pleasure of a crumble hot out of the oven served with ice cream, or a meal prepared with fresh ingredients collected from my own small crop or a neighbor's farm. To me, it's all just so much more satisfying and luxurious than going to any fancy restaurant with great reviews. So this year I've made a much bigger effort to learn about plants, herbs, and soon I'll attempt preserving fruits for the first time. Chili rock salt. This is one of those little things. When I moved to Scotland, I realized ranch dressing isn't really a thing here. The only place I can find it is in, I think it's Asda or Tesco's, and it's the Newman's Own, which is actually the brand I used when I lived in Colorado, and I love it, so that works out, but it, it's like harder to find. It's just not really a flavor that they use here a lot. So yeah, just something to know. <laughs> Actually, yellow squash was another one. Uh, I think it is it. I don't know if it has a special name, yellow squash, <laughs> but it's like nowhere to be found in the supermarkets. I have to get it from the local gardens, and it's only available this time of year. So I always buy a bunch of it. Mmm, feta cheese is just the best. <laughs> All 
All right, we're headed to one of the local gardens. We're gonna pick up some autumn inspired things. <laughs> and I'm also gonna see if they have any garlic. I wanna plant some garlic soon. So I'm gonna try to source some local garlic. They might know where I can get some as well because I don't wanna use store-bought garlic. I wanna use garlic grown here in a colder climate. It'll do much better. <laughs> This time of year I get into like nesting mode for sure and I want to make my home nice and cozy and kind of refresh the garden, clear out the cobwebs before the darkness sets in. friendly and helpful because there were so many different types of apples I didn't know what to get so she helped me figure it out I'm gonna try to make an apple pie or something I just noticed a little casket for the wine <laughs> I know she really did think of it There's another yellow one there. Oh yeah. I bought more than I expected. <laughs> it was just so cute. I've never been like a big holiday decorator, but autumn decor just makes me so happy. So many cute things. <laughs> but now headed to the garden center. They didn't have garlic, so I'm gonna see if the garden center has anything. Oh God, it's Christmas already. One of the perks to being self-employed is that whenever I need to go shopping, I can time it so that it's less busy at the shops. So basically avoiding rush hour or weekends whenever I can help it. And it makes the shopping experience much more enjoyable. Since I've been alone all month, my days just sort of blurred together and whether I was working or cooking or gardening, it just felt like time flew by. Since I have so many projects going on, I was using chores and errands as a way to kind of rest my mind <laughs> because whenever I'm driving, I just let my imagination go. And I listen to podcasts. I just don't think about work and it really helps. Shopping, of course, is its own form of therapy. And because I'm kind of in nesting mode, I've been collecting lots of glass jars because I want to try preserving more fruits and herbs this year, which I'll definitely share in a future vlog. Since a lot of my work involves being on the computer, I spend all of my free time either outside or in the garden or cooking. It always feels so good to come home after doing lots of errands and being around so many people. Even though I live in the countryside, the towns that I go to feel so crowded and busy and it's such a relief to have space and quiet at home. I will always choose peace and quiet over hustle and bustle. I will choose being far away from everything rather than the convenience of walking down the street for a coffee. I will always choose nature over everything else. to do spacing every maybe like six of them in here. I could probably fit more. 
I'll do three, and then I'll do tighter over here just to see if it makes a difference. out of the garden earlier gave them a good wash so I figured I'm just gonna eat them why not This is the garlic. I'm gonna move this over. I think I'm gonna put this in here. I love gardening. <laughs> I've, I've grown so accustomed to spending time gardening in between projects or in between chores, just like every chance I get, I come out here and do something. And it's, it, it's like my happy place. It also allows me to think clearly. I don't know, it's just wonderful. <laughs> I always daydream about owning my own place, owning my own garden because it's gonna be amazing, trust me. I feel impatient to have my own place and start my own garden but I'm trying to remember that this is the perfect time to try new things, to get my hands dirty, literally, <laughs> and like learn the basics. So I know eventually in time that we'll have our own place and it'll be awesome. But for now, we are here and I'm making the most of it. I think my superpower in life is looking at the silver lining, finding the silver lining. I, I can always find the positive in almost any situation. I mean, there's obviously some exceptions, <laughs> but I'm really good at seeing past the, the challenge of the situation and seeing or thinking about focusing on what good will come from it and what it can learn from it. Hello everyone. Welcome to autumn. I'm wearing my autumn sweater. This is like sweater weather now. It's autumn colored. It's, it's, it just gets me in the mood. <laughs> so this month, this whole September, I've been alone. Wolfie has been away. He's helping a family member recover after surgery. Everything's fine, um, but he'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> it's been a whole month. I've been recording bits and pieces of life. There's so much going on in my art business. Um, yeah, it's kind of overwhelming. So recording things that are not related to my business has been kind of nice to help me unwind a little bit in a way. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing some live streams with my art community soon. So if you're interested in that, you like art or just wanna hang out, <laughs> follow that channel and I'll see you there. For some reason I had it in my head that a lot of the trees change color like in sep late September, but it is, I looked back at my photos from last year and it is mid October, even late October. So yeah, 
there's lots more beautiful autumn inspiration to come. I'm just gonna keep going on hikes and recording the beauty and sharing it with you. I know I'm not the only one who gets so inspired this time of year. This is the first year that I've planted a lot of flowers just to have color and flowers. Like usually I'm very um, utilitarian in my garden, like purposeful gardening. I wanna eat everything I plant. <laughs> I want it to have a purpose. I'm, I'm in this mode of just make my space nice make my play, my space somewhere I want to be. <laughs> All right, it's getting a little chilly out here, which is kind of exciting. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go in, make some hot coffee, and start editing this video. Thanks for watching. Wolfie sends his love. We'll see him more in the next vlog, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all soon. Take care. <laughs>